Hello everybody, Grandpa Dan here. Making a little more progress on this uh, next 1929 Model A engine. I got all the valves uh, seated in good and uh, they're all uh, sealing good and holding air. The top has kind of cleaned up pretty good. I'm uh, almost done with that. And the uh, front side here, that has cleaned up pretty good. One other thing I was going to show you was uh, um, I take a, a round rotary bit, grinding bit, um, in uh, my electric drill. It's, it's got, got kind of a long bit. And I just kind of clean all the carbon and gunk out of the ports. They really build up with a lot of gunk over the years. And it's not perfect, but... I'll bring you in slow here. Kind of see, uh, cleaned up pretty nice. Cleaned up pretty good. And uh, you can kind of see uh, it as well. So, so they're, they're cleaned up pretty good. And, and uh, so I'm uh, ready now to uh, um, get the cylinder walls honed and uh, get those ready. I got a new set of 30 over rings and I got a different set of 30 over pistons that I'm going to put in. Uh, they're real real nice looking pistons and uh, I'll pull it out of the stand and I'll flip it upside down get the crankshaft set uh, get the rods and pistons uh, in and uh, get the uh, connecting rod bearings uh, set as well and uh, get the camshaft in and the lifters and then uh, I can flip that back over and and uh, get it back up in the stand again with the uh, oil pump and oil pan on. And then uh, things will start coming together pretty quick then. But it'll it's going to take me a few days to do all that bearing work. It's slow and tedious, but um, I purposely go slow and to make sure that I get the bearings uh, just just the way I like them. I like them just a little bit snug and um, so that takes a little bit of time and uh, trying uh, lots of different combinations of shims to get it just right. So there you go making progress and happy uh, with how things are turning out so far. I think it's going to be a pretty good engine. Thanks for watching.